Welcome. This is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of April 17th. So your theme for the week is the Two of Cups. Cups is the element of water in the realm of heart, emotions, intuitions, dreams, and creativity. And you can see the two glasses here. In here is the image of a woman's face, and in here the image of a man. Here's the sign of Venus, <coughs> excuse me, which just stopped going retrograde. And below is the sign of Cancer with the two hearts in each claw. So your theme for this week is really to look at where you partner in your creativity. Collaboration and partnership is often a wonderful thing. It brings up new ideas and new possibilities. When you collaborate, you help to strengthen each other's weak points in your creativity, um, and it can spark new ideas. And it really allows you to fall in love with your work again. So really look for opportunities this week to collaborate. Your focus for the week is the major arcana card the wheel or the wheel of fortune you can see the wheel here with the four images of the fool riding the wheel almost falling off and back is this planet jupiter who is the big benefit makes everything bigger your focus for the week is to ask how are you dealing with the ups and downs of your creative work and career? Um, if you ride the outside of it, you tend to feel like you're getting thrown off and lose your balance all the time. The challenge is to stay in the center and to stay focused. If I can stay focused, then perhaps I can reap the rewards of the, the constant turning of the wheel. So really ask yourself this week, how do I maintain my center through the ups and downs of my creative work and career? Then take action this week. Be the king of cups. So we started with cups. Here we are with cups again. Cups, again, is the element of water in the realm of heart, emotions, dreams, intuition, and creativity. Here's the king. You can see he's got the pool in front of him. He has a cup here. Um, he's not overwhelmed by the element of water. In fact, he kind of commands it. You can see the seahorses on either side of him, the etchings of shells behind him. He seems very much in control. So your action for this week is to not be overwhelmed by the emotions and um, the things, the dreams, and all of that that come up with your creative work. Sometimes we can feel like we get too submerged and it overtakes us rather than us being able to direct it and being a conduit for it. So really look at how take it action at being the king of cups this week. And then finally the gift may seem like a very strange gift, but another major arcana card, the devil. And you can see him holding the fool here on the hourglass, this hourglass tip sideways, so time has stopped. He's got the four elements in his hand. Um, how would this be a gift? Well, the gift is we get to use the shadow sides of ourselves and our creative work to strengthen the creativity, to create, strengthen the current creative project. Too often we're afraid to go there, we don't want to look at it, but the gift is this week that we can look at it and we can reap the gifts of that shadow side. So as we look at the story for this week, really um, for the theme, be aware of where there are opportunities to collaborate. It might be that you have a partner on a project. It might be that you have an agent or an editor, a gallery owner, whoever it is that wants to really help work with you to make your work bloom and blossom um, and come into fullness. So look at where the collaboration opportunities are. Then ask yourself this week, am I riding the outside of the wheel and feeling constantly tossed and turned by my creativity? Or am I staying centered so that I can reap the rewards of it? then be the king of cups. Don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed by the emotions of the work and the responses to it. Really stand above it, get the big picture, and be in a, a place where you are the conduit rather than being overwhelmed by it. And then finally look for the gift of the devil, that opportunity to really be aware of the dark aspects of your creative work and how those dark aspects can serve to enhance and deepen it. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com, wishing you divine musings.